Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. As crossover utilities shrink ever smaller, they're looking less like a blend of family car and an SUV and more like pumped up five door hatchbacks with available all wheel drive. Case in point, this Mazda CX-3. It's a good looking subcompact ute, but in its quest for popular style, is utility no longer its strongest point? To their credit, Mazda calls the 2016 CX-3 their ultimate urban escape vehicle, a combination of small car attributes necessary for city dwellers, like a Mazda 3 hatchback, with enough crossover elements for weekend adventures and all-weather security. Going up against the likes of Honda HRV, Fiat 500X, Jeep Renegade, and Chevrolet Trax, four subcompact utes that weren't even available here a year ago gives you an idea of how rapidly this segment is expanding. Built on a new Sky Active chassis to be shared with the next Mazda 2, the CX-3 is tidy indeed. Every interior dimension is less than the Mazda 3. And while outside it is certainly taller, ground clearance is the same at 6.1 inches. But of course, you can't get all-wheel drive in the Mazda 3. Now, whether all four or just the front two wheels are in play, power comes from the MX-5 Skyactiv G 2-liter i4. Here putting out 146 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque with a six-speed automatic transmission your only option. One thing is clear and that is that the CX-3 is easily the most stylish of the new breed of cute utes. It looks long, low, lean and much more muscular than bigger brother CX-5. In the front, the face is familiar Mazda territory, but they seem to be pushing the boundaries of the grille ever farther. And the slanted rear roof with tight hindquarters doesn't help much with convincing us that this is a crossover and not a hatchback. At our test track, there was a snappy throttle and eagerness at launch, but the CX-3 runs out of steam fairly quickly, taking us 8.6 seconds to hit 60. To be fair, that's on par with the Jeep Renegade we tested. And the CX-3 gives you all it's got down the strip, sounding good while doing it. Shifts are prompt and positive, and there was even a touch of torque steer as we worked our way to a 16.7 second quarter mile at 83 miles per hour. Throughout handling exercises, there was certainly a fun, sporty Mazda-style character. But while still far from a sports car, there's a nice balance and steering response is quick, putting most other tiny trucksters to shame. We were expecting a little more from the brakes, however, than a 133-foot stopping average from 60 and an overall soft feel. Fittingly, the interior is driver-oriented, with an almost premium feel to the materials and surfaces that again put it above most rivals. The control layout looks simple enough, yet still managed to befuddle some of our staffers. Ergonomics are also not great for full-size adults. Plus, we found console space minimal and cup holders difficult to access easily. Moreover, it can be at times a very noisy environment. Continuing our list of gripes, cargo space is minimal, just 10.1 cubic feet behind the rear seats if there's a Bose subwoofer in place. That's one half the space of a Mazda 3 hatchback. Folding the seats expands the space, getting the numbers closer to the Mazda 3s at 44.5 cubic feet. The load floor is also very hot. It might not have been as noticeable had we not had an HRV in at the same time, which has a much lower load floor and double the amount of rear cargo space. Government fuel economy ratings for an all-wheel drive CX-3 are 27 city, 32 highway, and 29 combined, which we almost reached at 28.8 miles per gallon of regular. 
So the energy impact score is much better than average, with oil consumption at 11.4 barrels yearly and CO2 emissions of 5.0 tons. Pricing starts at $20,840. And since we're doing so much comparing here, a Mazda 3 starts about a grand lower, though top grand touring trims are priced very similar. In the end, we know why Mazda commissioned the CX-3. Everything crossover is selling like mad, while traditional car sales continue to sag. Still, when it comes to actual utility, a well-done compact five-door hatchback like a Mazda 3, Ford Focus, or even the new Honda Civic beats the CX-3 and all other tiny utes in everything except traction. But if you gotta hang with the crowd, then the 2016 Mazda CX-3 is one fun city-size utility that's raring to go.